Hey guys, it's me Evelyn from Evelyn's Model Horses and today I'm going to be doing an October slash Halloween barn tour. So I'm super sorry about like how I've not been posting. Um, I've just been super busy and I just haven't gotten a lot of ideas and I'm also a little bit on the lazier side so I don't get things up in time. So yeah, let's get started. <laughs> So I'm going to be starting my born tour with my arena, which is just the improvised dressage arena with some jumps inside. So my barn is decorated for Halloween, so there's all these sort of little ghosts and bats and lights. So in the arena currently is Evelyn on her horse Phoenix, who are just going around my Halloween-inspired course. By the arena we have, um, this is Gracie on Eric and... Uh, Jenna on Rocky, and he's the nab stripper stallion who is absolutely adorable, and I love him so so much. There, he is wearing a breastplate that I made, and they are both waiting for their turns to go into the course. So the arena has the barn roof on top, which I mean fits a little small, but I'm just putting it on here because I didn't really want to like have to take off the roof in the barn because it's a little bit of a hassle. So if we move over here, we have Julie, who's just watching Evelyn go around her course. Moving up, we have the trailer, and we have Stacy, who's leading up Dakota in her fancy shipping set, which I made myself and I think is very, very cute. Then we have Ellie, who is putting a lead rope into the trailer, and then Goldie, the Golden Retriever is following along with her. Here, oh, I forgot to mention, Dakota is a paint mare, Phoenix is a thoroughbred mare, Eric is an Andalusian, and Rocky is a nab stripper. If I didn't say those breeds, I'm sorry if I don't say the breeds. I just kind of skip over them sometimes. So then we have Bob, who is the Gypsy Vanner Stallion, who is very cute. So they have some food. Then we have Storm, the Andalusian Stallion, wearing some bell boots I made, and then the Black Forest Stallion, who has not yet found a name. And then we have Rusty, my American Quarter Horse Stallion. So this is that this side of the barn. So of course the barn has some lights. There's a tree, and then there's a little Halloween decoration over there. So I've also decorated my barn with some festive flowers. So, sort of by the barn, um, we have these two girls. So, I think I'm going to name this girl Zoe, I think. And then we have Kat, who are friends, and they're just going to go on a hack with the Arabians. Um, Rosie, and then Knight, or Blackie. I can't remember his name, but I think I'm just going to name him Knight for now. No, I think it was actually Prince. His name is Prince. Okay. And then they've just gotten on from the mounting block. We'll go over that side after. So moving on, we have the front of the barn, which is decorated with some flowers, some lights, and some pumpkins and decorations. So if we go into the barn, um, we have Daisy, my lip is on her mirror. Um, Hazel, my Mustang mare. Fergus, my Tennessee Walker stallion, of uh, gelding, sorry. And then Thunder, my Hanoverian gelding. So in the barn aisle, we have a fallen pitchfork. Um, we have Havana in the cross ties, who's wearing a halter that I made, and the cross ties are also made by me. So Chloe just tacked her up and is about to go on a ride. She's just checking if she needs anything from the tack box. Beside the tack box, we have some horse and pony food. On the tack box, we have Carmel, my little kitten. Beside Chloe, we have Chloe's dog, who is named Bella. So that is basically it for the main barn. Um, so yeah, the main barn has all these sort of little lights going around. So now we'll move on to the other paddocks. So this is the Marin Foal side of the barn. So if you haven't noticed, this side was the mares and then this side was the stallions and geldings. So this is the mare in full paddock. So we have Breeze and her full 
he actually doesn't have a name. I don't think he has a name. So comment down below some names. We have Sassy and her foal doesn't have a name either. Um, then moving back here, we have Clover and her foal Flicka. Um, by the way, Clover and Flicka aren't like supposed to be together. I just thought they looked pretty similar and I wanted to include Clover. So I just popped them t together. And then back there, we have Destiny and her foal Ziggy. My barn actually looks much better on camera, um, lighting wise, so we're just gonna go with that. They have a hay net I made, and then a water trough, so their decorations are along the fence. Also along the fence, we have Leah and Abigail, who are just looking at them. And then if we swing back here, um, I moved the horses that were here because it's just easier for me to access. So we have a stump, a bush with a little cardinal on top. We have Stella, my gypsy vanner mare. Um, Hope, my thoroughbred mare. Summer, my camera hog mare. And then back there we have um, Cloudy, who is my camera hog mare as well. And she's wearing an unfinished blanket. I just popped it on her because it fits her well. They have some hay as well. And then they also have their decorations. So I'm sorry if the floorboards creak. I'm just having to walk over. And so here we have my Percheron Stallion who is very cute and he's also very chunky and his name is Snowman. So I actually took off the sign that comes with this little stall and then put a bat, which I think is pretty cute. So he has some roses on his stall and then he also has a hay net back there. So then moving here, um, we have Goldie and John and Sunburst, who is the horse, and they're trying to catch Goldie because she is running away, obviously. So when you come on to the left again, you have Oakley, who's just looking over. We have Yukon, who's in the little shelter with the actual Schleich bird. I have the Cardinal and, an another, and another blue bird, who are not Schleich, but they're just birds I got from Michael's. They have a hyena as well. Um, they have a water trough. And then here we have Tundra and then Boomerang who are just running along. Um, so they have some other decorations as well. Then we have a tree with a little hedgehog whose name is Harrison. And he is just hoping not to get trampled. Then if we move back to the right, we have Noel, the exclusive Arabian mare. Willow, my Nabstrapper mare, Mocha, my American Quarter Horse mare, then back there we have Blossom and Georgie, and Georgie and Blossom are not supposed to go together, but I just put them together because they're both grazing, grazing, and I think that's pretty cute. Back there we have Willow, whose decoration is kind of falling, so there's a little bluebird, so Violet is like a moody mare, so she just gets her own paddock so she doesn't bite anyone. So she has water and food. And then moving back along, I'm pretending that this is sort of grass, even though technically everywhere is supposed to be grass. So here in the sort of grassy area, we have Lisa, who is on Snowflake, and they're just going over a Cavaletti. Um, they're doing bareback with some neck ropes. So then over here we have Lena, who is Lisa's sister. She's riding River in a neck rope and bareback pad, which I made. And Zelda is just watching. Um, then over there we have my last paddock, which is the stallions and geldings again. So if we, oh, that was a horse. Um, if we move up, we have Autumn, the person who is putting away um, this Arabian hal um, halter, um, I haven't found a name for him, so he is just there. Um, we also have Duke, my gypsy banner stallion. We have Dallas, my track, uh, he's not a trackner, I switched him to a Connemara, so he's a Connemara pony, gelding. In the blanket is... Uh, not Chicago, um, Hidalgo, and then the Shire is named Smokey. So I pretend this paddock like stretches farther. So there are some standards and then their hay. So if we move back, we have 
a jump and like a cavaletti set and then a couple poles. So that kind of concludes it for my barn. I think I'll do an overview now. So yeah. So that concludes it for my October slash Halloween barn tour. Um, I know Halloween is like next week or something, but I just wanted to do this since my barn was already set up. So thank you guys so much for watching. I can't promise on a post next week, but I hope I can. I'll probably do something else. But before we end the video, I have some very exciting news. So as you can see, my very exciting news is I actually got one of the advent calendars. So I'm going to make this quick because I know there was a horse world, uh, not a horse world, um, a horse club advent calendar, but I just really looked at the models and then I looked at this one and I decided that I would like this one better because there's more animals and I didn't really, I actually kind of hate the mold that Schleich used for the advent calendar. And I absolutely love this pony mold. I think it's very adorable. And I'm, and I'm going to get all of them on this mold, but they're kind of all in sets, which <laughs> kind of sucks. But um, I'm on the road to getting all of them and finishing the conga. I just really didn't like the horse club advent calendar, so I decided to get the farm world. I think it was a really cute choice because it comes with a lot of things. So you can pause the video if you want to see it, but I just think it is a very good advent calendar and it even comes with a little teddy bear which I think is very cute so thank you guys so much for watching I will definitely be posting like advent calendar days when December comes I don't know how the format will be for that but I hope I can do it some way so thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed this barn tour and the little bit of news thank you guys just for sticking with me even though I haven't been posting so thank you guys so much, and I'll see you guys maybe next week. Bye!